everybody, it's Pastor Rhonda. You know, a few weeks ago on Wednesday night, Travis Campbell was doing the offering and he read part of this scripture and I'm telling you, it just blessed my socks off. And so I wanted to uh, read it to you out of the Amplified Classic number 622. It says, and the Lord said to Moses, say to Aaron and his sons, they were the priests, this is the way you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and watch, guard, and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon and enlighten you and be gracious, kind, merciful, and giving favor to you. The Lord lift up his approving countenance upon you and give you peace. That's tranquility of heart and life continually. And they shall put my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. You know what? I know that most of us are not Jewish by, uh, by descent, but we, you know, we have a covenant with God that the New Testament says is even better than the covenant that they had. And so if you've been, uh, you know, you used to quote these in church in your denomination growing up, a lot of times they would do it at the end of the service and it was kind of like the signal service was over. I don't want you to get stuck in that. I want you to really listen to these words uh, because I want to bless you that way today. It says, the Lord bless you. You know, that word bless actually means to kneel before. You know, that, that, so, that mental picture so blessed me one time when I was studying on this because, you know, when I was, uh, when Destiny was very small and I was wanting to say something to her that was important or something that I really needed her attention for, I would kneel down before her or I would squat before her and look her so I could look her square in the face. And, and that's what this word bless means. He got down and he's talking directly to us and he said, the Lord bless bless you and watch you. I'm so glad his eyes are on us. Everywhere we go, everything we do, he's watching out for us. He's taking care of us. The Lord bless you and watch you, guard you. Ah, he's guarding us. He's, he goes before us. He's our rear guard. Everywhere we go, God goes with us. We, you know, if God before us and we know he is, why should we fear what man can do unto us? You know, who cares what what anybody tries to do. God is for us. He is for us. The Lord bless you and watch, guard and keep you, keep you safe, protect you. His hand of protection is over your family, over your children, over your grandchildren. I could stand here the rest of the day and give you story after story of God's divine deliverance for our church family and those I know that have a covenant with God. God is for you. He's blessing you. He's watching out over you. He's guarding you and he's keeping you. I am so, so glad. Bless you. Love you. And we'll talk again.